Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I just got this beautiful doll set in the mail. Um, I purchased this on BradfordExchange.com and it is made by Aston Drake Galleries, which they also have their own website. And you can buy this set on either of the two websites. The retail price is $199.99 and they do have payment plans where you can pay 50 a month. And that's why it's pretty affordable and easy to get. Um, at least that's what I did. But anyways, um, you actually receive them before you pay the full amount. You make one payment and they send them to you. So that's awesome. Um, and that's why I just couldn't pass on them. They're really cute. Sally is about 18 inches tall. Jack is 20 inches tall. They're made out of resin. Um, the actual doll set name is called Nightmare Romance. It's just very pretty. They're very detailed, hand painted. Her hair is glued on. I mean, they are extremely detailed collector dolls. They are not to play with. They're made out of resin. So... You know you can't really drop them so you have to be careful with them but yeah i they, they're so awesome and i'm so happy they're here anyways i want to show you how they arrive they arrive in this really big box and you're gonna see i already took at this point i had already taken out the the thing that was covering their heads but their heads are wrapped uh, wrapped perfectly i mean they come so safely packaged they also bring this little card which just kind of tells you um how to take care of them it talks about the set itself it's a really pretty interpretation of her look, you know, her rags look uh, made into like a pastel wedding set kind of thing. Um, so I really, I really like them because of that. This is the Certificate of Authenticity from Ashton Drake Galleries. Let's take a look at Jack first. And as I said, he is about 20 inches tall. So he's a really big doll. His face is extremely accurate. I think out of all the merchandise I've seen from Nightmare Before Christmas. This is probably my favorite interpretation of his face. I think he looks so cute. I mean, it really looks like him and it's sculpted perfectly. And not only that, but it's actually hand painted. And as I said, the material for this is resin, which is a really, it's kind of like the ornament. You know, when you buy a Disney store ornaments, that material, it's sensitive, but this is a different resin. This is artist resin, so it's a little bit stronger. So it won't break easily or as easily, but yeah, they did an amazing job. I love everything about his face. He also has his little piece, uh, the bow tie, I guess you can call it. And this is also uh, made out of resin and it's attached there very nicely. It's paint painted very well and it's sculptured perfectly. I mean, it looks like, like it does in the, in the movie. His tuxedo is really cool. Um, it's very accurate to the film. As you guys see, it's all pretty much one piece and you really can't take it off and yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even try. You really can't just because the middle of his, his mid session is really plush. But here you can see it looks just like a real tuxedo. I love it. It's attached here in the front. So I try to lift it up, but you really can't. Um, I love that they added the details in the back. The little uh, train of the of the tux has the little spikes, you know, how he does in the film. And then his hands are sculpted out of resin as well has his four fingers and they look really good again this is all hand painted guys and i love that i love when you get dolls they're they're very high quality they're hand painted and a lot of work went into them also this outfit was hand tailored uh, so this is an actual person sitting there making it not a machine you know so i i love that um his pants don't actually go up they're attached to the shoes but the shoes are sculpted out of resin as well and they're painted black you know his signature shoes Really cool. I wanted to show you guys the articulation really quick. As I said, the mid session is all plush. The head turns all the way around, up and down. His hands are made out of metal. There's an actual piece of metal going through and that's why they're bendable or posable, I should say. And yeah, pretty much the entire middle part of the body is plush. When it comes to the stand, you pop it right out of his back and pop it right back in. And now we have the belle of the ball, Sally, and I think she looks gorgeous. Her face is actually hand painted. It's sculpted um, again with resin, just like Jack. And all these little details are actually hand painted on her. And I think that's so cool. You can see she's looking to the side, looking at her love, and she has her red lips, her stitches right around her mouth. All of that is sculpted and painted by hand, guys, which is pretty awesome very pretty her profile is also very nice when it comes to her hair it's actually 
Um, it's not rooted, it's a wig, but it's glued on by hand as well. And it looks really nice because of that. I feel like if a machine did it, it wouldn't look as good. Here, you couldn't even tell if it's a wig or not because it has the parting and it, it looks really nice. Now, she also has her veil, which is really pretty. It has little pearls. I love it. And her hair is a really good quality. I don't know what material this is. It's not saran for sure. It might be nylon. I'm not sure because it's really, really cool. The color is beautiful. It's a bright, bright red. And the camera doesn't really pick it up as much as it actually, like, it's brighter in person is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> See, and it's all glued on there. Uh, the veil is not removable. You cannot take it off. I mean, you probably could, but to put it back on, you would have to like stitch it in or glue it. So I'm not touching it. There you can see if I push the hair back, you can see a little bit of where it's glued. She is very pretty. I love her. They did an amazing job. Ashton Drake and Bradford Exchange. When it comes to her upper part of the body, she does have some articulation, but not a lot. She's meant to be posing, um, holding his hand and then holding the bouquet in the other. As you guys see, this is also made out of resin, while her belly area is made out of plush material. Her torso and arms have the stitches like she does in the movie, and they are hand-painted very nicely. Her dress is beautiful. As you guys see, she fo it follows the same patchwork that she has in the film, but they've replaced it and made it longer, and it's basically now all made up of pastel colors, wedding colors, Really, really beautiful pop of purple and blue, and I would never picture such a unique take on her wedding dress. It totally works. I would never see this in my head, but for some reason, it works perfectly. It's amazing. This is also all hand-finished, so of course, a machine sews it together, but it's hand-finished by a person, and I think that's why it's so detailed and nice. When you lift it up, you can see an extra layer of just, you know, to add a little bit of poof, <laughs> so that it's puffy and it's big. Here we see she has her stand and her feet are actually made out of the plush material with a wire inside and then the bottom part is sculpted and painted by hand there's the stand so you guys see she has her little heels and her socks and this is all again hand painted <laughs> i keep saying the same thing i'm sorry but yeah it looks really awesome you can lift it up a little bit and you can see the actual material and they are bendable they're postable but you do have to treat it with care her dress is removable, but I only took it down a bit so you can see the part that is resin and where the plush begins. Now the back of her dress is just as beautiful. As you guys see here, it follows the same pattern and we get a pop of blue in the back and in the front it was purple, so now we get the blue. So that's pretty much the most dramatic colors. Everything else is very pastel, very light, very wedding-like, very beautiful. And I love, I love this patchwork. I think it's so creative. As you can see here, it's beautiful. Now this is a side angle of it, which, I mean, this doll looks like a work of art from any angle that you look at her. Look at how beautiful this dress is. It is a little bit wrinkled, but I try to film it really quick for you guys, so I'll take care of that after. Or with time, they'll go away, but I just want you to appreciate this artwork <laughs> because it's so beautiful. I wanted to also remind you guys that I do have the limited edition Jack and Sally released by the Disney Store, and I did a review a long time ago, so I'll attach that on the top and right on the bottom. Alrighty, my friends. Well, that is all for today. I totally love this doll set. It is a little bit pricey. I mean, it's $199, but when you think about it, there's payment plans and it's, it's beautiful. It's totally worth it. It's high quality collectible item. You don't get this anywhere else. So again, if you want to get it, it's on AshtonDrake.com and on Brackford Exchange. And I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful set and a beautiful interpretation of their love. It's a beautiful romance set. So if you like it, go get it. I love it and I'm so happy that it's a part of my collection. Anyways guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. Thank you for all the love and I will see you all on the next one. Bye bye.